Well, it's 6.30 in the morning. It's Sunday, the 2nd of October. It's the day of the Clarendon. So uh, I suppose there's about uh, just under a thousand people getting up really early this morning. And we're all uh, rushing off and hoping we're going to have a great day. Let's see how it goes. This is 2022 Clarendon. We're here again in Salisbury or Laverstock just near Salisbury. Um, we've got just under a thousand runners and we've got just over 200 volunteers. Um, preparations have been going on over the last year and over the last month we've been out and about on the various sections of the course figuring out where all the signs go. A few weeks ago we were out chopping back the blackberries which are always going across uh, the 16 metal. Uh, yesterday, Saturday, we then got out um, with six teams and we put all the arrows and signs. There's about 600 signs all together. They're all in place. This morning all the marshals will be jumping out of bed and uh, getting into their teams so they're out on all the intersections. And uh, here at Laverstock we've now got all of the uh, participants turning up. At this stage it's the very early ones who are mainly walking. Ken and Bruce, it's early morning, isn't it? What time is it? Like, oh, I don't know. It's, it's five o'clock in the morning, isn't it? Yeah. It feels like it. I'm not sure. It's pretty early anyway. By having, by having a staggered start, the really nice thing is they all start converging as we get towards the end. So um, it should be a good day. Uh, the weather forecast um, hey is we challenging. Um, it's going to be wet uh, until about midday and the rain should stop. Um, it's going to be a bit colder than normal. Usually it's sort of about 15, 16, 17 degrees, but the forecast is for about 40 degrees, so it's a little bit colder. Um, but other than that, it should be fine. It'll be ace. They'll love it. I'm running too. I'll be running in the half. I do have some. I'm uh, running uh, a marshalling team between King Sombourne and uh, a little bit after Farley Mount, about a mile after Farley Mount. So that's about a five and a half, six mile stretch. We're here this morning to um, knock in posts, put up signs, arrows, left turns, right turns, that sort of thing, um, with a team of six of us, and we hope to be finished in the, in the next couple of hours. So just putting in posts and, and directional signage for, for the runners for tomorrow. Jack's bananas, you've got the jelly beans. This is all for talking newspapers. Okay, at, thank you very much indeed for yep, round. At the well, seven miles to go sign. Are we here to run the Clarendon? Oh yes. Yeah, you come to the right place. <laughs> you only go early, you're not going to wait for the 10.30 start. No. No. We're going to go... It's 7.53am. Uh, 7.53. I'm um, heading off on my 8th Clarendon. 8th Clarendon, so you're going to Winchester, all 26 miles of it. All, all the way. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully well, not too slowly with the mud. I hope you have a good time. I mean the weather forecast isn't quite as good as we'd like it to be, but it'll be fine. Indeed. You're going that way then. I'll go this way. There Thank you go. Bye then. Cheerioesies. Right, here we go. Another clarinet. How many how many clarinets have you guys done? 
This is uh, my suit. Ten six, you're catching up to Mark. Then, yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, come back because it's such a great event. You'll love it. Off you go then. Okay. Thank we'll you. See you again. Here we go. How Number many have you three. done? Three. Three. <laughs> yeah, you better chase those guys really fast. <laughs> nice and slow. Cheerio then. This is my third marathon. Third marathon and first Clarendon. No, third, no, third, third, third Clarendon. Oh, well done. I've done the half. Yeah, Stop. yeah, yeah. And I'm nervous. You're set, you're nervous? Yeah. Have you done this before? Uh, yeah, and that's why I bought sticks this time. I you bought sticks this time. I bought sticks this time. This time well, I've got sticks, so I'm going to help help myself. You should find it's pretty good actually because um, yesterday when we were out on the course, everything's pretty dry. So even though it's rained in the last few weeks, yeah. I think the ground's just absorbed it all. There was no puddles or anything. So it should be pretty it's good. Just that limestone bit, you know. Those yeah. Bits. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm setting up. Have a good time. Of time it'll I, be fine. I better not hold you back. No. There you go, there's the start. Bye. Here we go, that's the camera team. We're all set to go. Are you going to take that all the way through? Not the bag, no. Put the children, you're going to have the two children in it? Yeah. Wow. I don't think we've ever tackled that before. That's the first, I think. Yeah, yeah. We've got a, we've got someone supporting us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way, so, uh, right. Yeah. Well, we will need to get some more video of this. This is very important. How are you there? Are you looking forward to this? This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Which is still on behind me. My name is Anne Smith, and for my seventh year. I am responsible for uh, the organisation of the start of the marathon, um, plus uh, the um, organisation of the marshals along the first part of the route that Salisbury and Sarum Rotary are responsible for. Yesterday we had a brilliant day, everything got set up in uh, good weather and of course today we have a little bit of a problem it's going to be slippery here there and everywhere so extra caution will be required from uh, the runners and walkers I'm manning the the car park uh, making sure that uh, everybody's safe um, and has a good start to the race We've been involved for a long time. It's a collaboration between us, Salisbury Rotary and Winchester Rotary. We come together to put this event on. Um, it's a great way for people to raise money for charity. Um, it raises money for our own charities as well. Um, people take sponsorship for their own charities. Um, so it's a fantastic event. Everybody that comes to it absolutely loves it. So yeah, what better way to, to, to do it than, than raising money as well. So we're getting all the runners coming through and with me I have Elaine. Elaine Dean. Yeah. yeah. And Elaine, you've done it a number of times, haven't you? A couple of times. Times, yeah, Couple last times. time 2019. 2019, yeah. What sort of time did you do it in? Oh, I think about five and a half hours. Five and a half hours. Yeah, probably about the same today. Yeah. My name is Jim Whitmarsh. I live in Hedgen, just outside of Southampton. I've been running marathons since 1999, and today I run my 350th and my last. So I've decided I'm going to retire. I'm Jane, I live in Cornwall. I've run probably a hundred plus marathons with this wonderful gentleman who is the kindest on the circuit. He's wonderful. Thank you. And I've run 306 <laughs> marathons. Yes. I've done a fair number and I've done this one a number of times. Um, from before the Rotary Club started to do it. Um, I've done it as the relay, I've done it as the half, and I think I've done it as the whole. But I've done a fair number of marathons, from the Everest Marathon, the Edinburgh Marathon, etc. And I've done an ultra as well. So. It's my 111th marathon today, actually. But I'm actually not going the full distance today. I'll probably do a half. So. Your legs are still working. They're all good. Yeah. <laughs> Bob did his 100th marathon here on the Clarendon about five years ago. 2014. Goodness me, that's a lot yeah. longer ago, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. that's, um, yeah. that's nine years ago. Yeah. Time flies. We're, We're not, still coming back. We're both nine years older. <laughs> I'm feeling older. So what time are you hoping to do it today? Oh, uh, six hours plus. Six 
South Plus. Yeah, 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 you'll be fine. This is a uh, a two a two a two medal event for me. Oh, is that the London, London virtual Marathon London Marathon and, London. Yeah. and Clarendon as well. My name is Thomas. I come from Uganda and over in the UK volunteering with a charity called Tools for Self Reliance. Yep. Yeah, so I decided to do the marathon in aid of Tools for Self Reliance. We have a shipment going out to Uganda in November. Yep. Yeah. Yes. So a shipment of. Tools, tools. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's a recycled tools. Yes, recycled yeah, yeah. tools. So they're going out to Africa, to Uganda in particular. Yep. And Tools for Self Reliance works with young people. They fund their education to obtain vocational skills like carpentry, construction, plumbing, tailoring, and catering. Yep. So these tools will help the graduates yep. and also will support them to establish their own businesses. Right. Yeah. And have you done a marathon before? Never before. <laughs> it's my first time to do a marathon. What's the longest you've run? During my training, I did 20 miles, so I'm thinking... Oh, that's okay. So you run 20 miles non-stop? Yeah, yeah. So oh, you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. It'll be a doddle. <laughs> It'll be a doddle. Definitely. Well, look forward to seeing the other end. Yeah, cheers. Pleasure. <laughs> yeah, thanks very much. Well, today it will be my 172nd marathon and my 7th Clarendon, I think. Um, and, yes, six years ago I suffered from blood clots in both my legs and both my lungs. I'm still here. Not enough people know the symptoms and not enough people realise just how prevalent blood clots are. Um, but one person every six minutes dies from a blood clot. Yep, yep. That's over 250 a day, that's 100,000 a year. One, uh, 100, there, yeah, thousand, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we've got the St John's Ambulance team and we're all geared up for the day. My first run in the UK. I'm organizer of my, my wife and I moved here from South Africa, so yeah. really looking forward to it. For the first year ever, I am not cycling. This year, I have found enough uh, talented cyclists to do the lead cycling, so I've got the opportunity to run. So, for the first time ever, I'll be taking part in the relay, which what? I'm really looking forward to doing. Which section? Uh, Glory Lake, obviously, the last leg back into Winchester. Oh, I think it's my fifth marathon. I've done the half a couple of times. Yeah, love it. Fifth Clarendon marathon. Fifth Clarendon marathon, yeah. Because I've opted out of the medal and the t-shirt for environmental reasons, I thought I shouldn't take the trophy either. My husband did it, looked at it first and he saw it advertised, one of the ones he advertised, and he, he said, oh, what about doing this one then? And he was like, yeah, shall we give it a go? And I said, will you give the marathon a go? I said, I might just give the half a go. <laughs> so that's what we did. And he absolutely loves it. Absolutely loves it. Why'd you come all the way from Wales for this? Yeah, well, I brought my parents down so they could enter the, well, dad's doing the marathon, mum's doing the half. I did the marathon last year with Dad, uh, doing the half marathon this year with Mum. So what's it, what's it like running with your, with your Mum? Um, yeah, it's hard to keep up sometimes. She's a bit of a speed demon. <laughs> 
We are the tail cyclists. Uh, so we are Lucy, I'm Clyde, we have Rob, Rod, and, and uh, Tom. So uh, our job is to safeguard the final runner. And we'll also chase after the second last runner in, the, in case they become the final runner if the other one drops out uh, through mishaps. Um, and we'll broadcast our location as well on WhatsApp, I believe, uh, so that we can alert the marshals when their a long day is about to come to a, an end. Um, and that's, that's what we're doing. Sort of make sure no one's left behind and uh, no one's sat down somewhere. You know, needing some help, we can just mop them up or report to someone who can come and pick them up. Make sure everyone gets home safely. I'm just excited to be outside doing stuff, getting out with the day, and I know that Dad's doing his relay as well, although we won't see any of them. And I don't know whether I'm going to see my granny, who's also marshalling as well.
Good morning. Um, I'm Mark Robinson. I'm coordinating the registration for the half marathon here at Broughton. Um, well, unbelievably, if you'd been having this interview about an hour ago, I'd have been indoors, definitely, because it was absolutely pouring down. But now, as you may detect, the, the sun is shining and the weather conditions are great. Obviously, some of the water will have permeated the tracks around here, but uh, so it promises to be a muddy run, but at least the village hall is relatively dry. We've managed to get the bus in between the village hall and the fence, which is always something I worry about from year to year. Maybe a little bit of sleepless nights. Um, but the bus is there, it's receiving um, bags from those runners who are going to pick up their belongings in, in Winchester. And the um, registration process is, is going well. I think we're still waiting for two buses to turn up, so we'll probably have a bit of an influx in a few moments. But the coffees are being served, the teas are ready, and um, yeah, there's a lot of enthusiasm in that village hall. Dogs are getting all excited, aren't they? They are. Bloody How many dogs have you seen today? The, well, Many those pretty... four. Yeah. <laughs> and a few small ones, which are a lot quieter. Oh, well. All systems go. How many people have we scooped up? We don't seem to have any people with problems, do we? Yeah, not today. Not yet. It's all good. <laughs> this is what we like, nice and relaxing. Are you going at the main start, 12.15? 12.20. Yeah. I'm actually going to shoot off a little bit earlier, so I'll probably see you. You'll probably overtake me. <laughs> yeah, well. We're running for Children's ca uh, can Cancer North which is um, a charity set up by a really good friend of ours in the northeast, uh, which does early stage clinical trials and supports uh, youngsters with cancer throughout the northeast in Cumbria. Okay. And we were supposed to be running the Great North Run, in, in, which is you know, with his charity, and then we decided that the, the amount of money it was going to cost us to go up there and, and get hotels and everything, we'd be much better off doing a local, char uh, a local run here and, and uh, spending the extra money. So that's what we're doing. I've never done a, a full marathon, but it's my first half Clarendon marathon. You've yes. done halves before, right? Yes, I actually did Winchester last week, Winchester half. And so I'm running back to, um, yeah, really well, very hilly, the Winchester one. Um, so uh, I wasn't really going to do a PB, but uh, yeah, it took 24 minutes of my um, previous uh, Winchester half. Because I've only been running for a year, so I'm a, I'm a new, new runner. I'm Nigel, yes, and this will be my 10th uh, my tenth, tenth Clarendon, well actually my 11th because once I started and had to pull out, by my 10th hopefully I'll finish, um, to me it's my favourite race of the year, really it's just a lovely friendly local race, great organisation and fantastic scenery and the sun is always shining. First Clarendon half marathon, yeah, looking forward to it immensely. How many half marathons have you done? Uh, five in total, so yeah, experienced half marathons but not, uh, not on trails before, so be very interesting how I get on today. Looking forward to it though immensely. It's very local, it's very sort of community driven, it's not um, it's not like one of these kind of ones mass sponsorship and you know that kind of thing. I don't know whether that makes sense but um, yeah and it's just the fact that it's off-road and I mean the countryside is just like like amazing. Hi I'm David and this is my daughter Eleanor and uh, we're here to run the Clarendon cross-country runs. I've done the relay uh, marathon, leg one, this morning, which was absolutely fantastic, but pouring with rain. But for Eleanor, the sun has come out for the start of the yeah. half marathon. This is the second time we've done it. We did it last year as well. So uh, yeah, second time this time. It's a really great run, really friendly. Um, I mean, a challenging route, but an interesting and exciting route. Um, good snacks on the way. <laughs> It's nice to have the varied terrain, you know, rather than just running around the roads, have the hills and the fields and the running to the villages that breaks it up and makes it more interesting. It's a marvellous event, whatever the weather, um, so well organised. The team behind it are just marvellous, JJ and his team that organise the event. It's a beautiful route, so looking forward to it. We'll be yeah. good. Winchester Rotary are going through hard times and we, we don't have a <laughs> megaphone that works. So I hope you can get close to me and hear what I have to say uh, because it's all extremely relevant to today's event. Um, just one quick question. Is there still actually a hosepipe ban? Or... There is. Unbelievable. Anyway, what a difference about an hour makes. It it's really is quite incredible. I hope those of you who are preparing for the wet really is struggling. There are ambulances along the route. This one's here, obviously, um, but there are three, two others who will be able to help if you've got a problem. Oh, 
up to the mat. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't want to get it. It must be faster than that. How's it going? It's going alright, thank you. So how many have gone through so far? Uh, probably about 50, 40, 50 or so. Oh, right, quite a few. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, how's, how's it going? You're just joining the full marathon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. crambling on through. How's it going, Colin? Yeah, not too bad, I'm enjoying it. You've done 13 miles so far. I'm really happy with that. I've done it in under two hours from Pocahut. Oh, well done. I think the leaving. second half's going to kill me, but you know. Yeah, you'll be fine. We're just leaving Broughton behind us. Yeah. We're heading on to Houghton. Oh. How are you going? You enjoying it so far? Yeah, it's yeah. great. <laughs> so you've done 13 miles, halfway. Yeah, halfway. Turning to go. Yeah. <sighs> I think it's quite the best weather for it. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if it stays like this. With a forecast, oh, puddle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the forecast was that it was going to be pretty wet, but. Yeah, this is perfect. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. Hold on, we're just going this way. Get an early start. Yeah. Well, the early start's good because it just makes you feel a bit more relaxed on the whole thing. Yeah. Rather than being waiting about a time limit. Yeah. And as you get towards the end, there's lots of people yeah. starting to sort of all, all come in behind you. It's quite good. At my age, you've got to watch out for what races that have got uh, time limits that aren't that generous. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of races, unless you can run fast, and you can't even enter. Yeah. But no, we keep it pretty open. We've got the Hampshire Search and Rescue drink station coming up shortly, haven't we? You have indeed. Good. The bottom of that hill, you're through the gate, and you're there. I shall look forward to seeing you with colleagues. Yes. Cheerios. Cheers. It's wonderful. I recommend everybody to come and do this one. Good. Excellent. Oh, I really do. It's lovely. You're doing the half. You started early. Yes. So you can take it easy. Yes. Have you got other friends doing it as well? No, no, I do it on my own and I talk to people as I go along. Yeah, yeah. And that's the beauty of something like this. People like yeah. me turn up. Exactly, yes. <laughs> <laughs> How's Hampshire Search and Rescue today? We're all doing well. Amazing. Thank you ever so much. Banana. A good time. Just oh, grab a little bit of that. Beautiful. Yeah, it's Thank good flat check. It's dairy free. Oh, lovely. It's vegan with nuts. Yeah, vegan, oh, vegan with nuts. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well done, we love it. Bye everybody!
enjoying it. Good time. I'm stopping for a bit. Well, I'm shot there. <laughs> How many of you shot so far? Second location, good, excellent. That's it, on we go. Very good. Pretty good pace. What age? What age are you now? 73, I'm 63, I'm just hitting the audience. Oh, well done. It's going well. Nice. Well done, everybody. Well done, everybody. Ace. Well done. On here. Well done, everybody. Well done. Ace. Ace, well done. See the other end. You'll be there before me. How's your day going so far? Yeah, brilliant. Really enjoying it. First you're, ever marathon. You're doing the full? Yes, yeah, first one. <laughs> this is my first marathon. I can tell you it was my only marathon. <laughs> Ever since then, I've done the half. Actually. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, it's uh, really good. And the views are yeah. stunning. Ah, how's it going? How many runners have gone past? Um, have you counted them? I haven't counted them, but quite a few. Quite a few, that's good. So, who are we waiting for? Mummy. Mum and Mummy. What's Mummy's name? Gemma. Gemma, we're waiting for Gemma. I hope she's here soon. <laughs> yeah, me the team. Hi team. You got plenty of cups this year? And we ran out, of, ran out of cups last year, didn't we? Well, during your relaxing moments, if you could take a few videos, that would be yes, much well, appreciated. I, I will try. Thank I need you a much. bundle of people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, you should, should be bunching up from now on, actually. Refreshments to your left. nine miles to go isn't it yeah yeah all going well Ace. well done man Chris how's it going yeah not too bad apart from having to go up this hill you know the full of the half full yeah. full very good so wow so nine miles to go uh, 17 done so far then yeah yeah, well, I'll see that. We call this one Killer Hill. Yeah. That gives you an indication. <laughs> Glad I didn't know it before. <laughs> Mind you, got, is bliss. you got Farley Mountain yet, that's a little bit higher. <laughs> well done, you're running, well done, that's excellent. Winchester this way. Uh, you look very happy, you're enjoying it, aren't you? Uh, yeah, yeah, I am. Good. <laughs> I can't get over the weather, so it's just saying. It was pretty grim this morning, it's lovely now. Yeah, yeah, I think it's got to stay this way actually. It's nice, the, so the going is soft. Yep. All right, talking of going. He's very happy. Talking of going, I suppose I better get going. Well done, David. Ace, on that way. Well 
Well done. Thank you. Well done, Emma. Go, go. That's what we like to see. Happy face. See you at the end. Well done, everybody. Ace. Well done, Winchester on this way. Well done everybody. There we go. How's it going so far? 18 and a half in. And I want to try and get a sub 320. Well done. Yeah, we're just coming so up to got the seven mile mark and the drink session's coming up soon. And we'll get some sub eight. So well done. I'm gonna go. The fall. The fall. We're just, yeah, we're just, uh, we're just caught we're up just with each met, other. You're just met, just yeah, chatting. Yeah. We're just having a rest, <laughs> chat, and then we'll carry on. It's one of the yes. nice, nice things with us. Uh, yes. Especially in the, the uh, shade here. Yeah, <laughs> the staggered start uh, helps people yes, to catch up with people as well. Yes, it does. Ah. How's it going? Go. You're having a good time. I see you. Hi, Val. Ah. Not to run actually. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. My, sixth, my sixth time at Clarendon. Sixth time? Yeah. Top, top marks. Oh, yeah. We better go, we're in a race. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yay, Yay. 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 Oh. It's that way. That way. I've got to go. All the silence is very good. Yeah. Found that part. Thank you. down the path. again or is it sort of five out of ten so far? Was that good? So far so good. So far, so good. You're doing well, you're doing amazingly well. 
Thanks for another great event, JJ. It's fantastic. Did the second leg this year, did the first leg last year, hopefully the third leg next year, or maybe the whole marathon. Who knows? Brilliant event. Hey, fantastic. Thank you. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Good. Yeah, everything's going well. And jelly bean. So far, so good. Yeah, I've only started two minutes ago, so I think it's been four minutes, 50 seconds. Well done, everybody. Well done, good very good. Yeah, it's sort of the middle of the pack at the moment, I think. Yeah. Hiya, well done. hiya. Well go. done. Well done, everybody. That's excellent. Well done, everybody. It's uh, well done. Thanks. Lovely job, well done. So that's well done, guys. I love that music. Yeah, Eva. This is the hip hop, the hip hop water stations. On that way, you're almost there. I'm great, love it. You're almost there. You're doing well. You're almost there. Thank you, Marshalls. Where's the finish line? First one across the line this afternoon for the Rotary Clarendon Marathon. 
of 2022. A wonderful effort. Glad to hear the support as well. Fabulous. It's fabulous conditions, the route's amazing, the supporters and the marshals are absolutely fantastic. Really, really good. It's pretty, pretty tough, after, especially after about 16, 17 miles. It was alright until then. Uh, beautiful countryside, very friendly marshals and uh, challenging course, but good fun. So, glad I finished, so thank you. I'm afraid I pipped somebody in the last stretches, but I've had that done to me by the rhino on the Mall in London, so I know what it feels like. Oh, it was fabulous. Beautiful, sunny, so much support. The volunteers are so friendly. It's a great race to do. The sun came out, it dried out, and the trails were brilliant. And uh, as ever, the marshals were great. It's the fun that we have, basically, the camaraderie. Yeah. You know, most of us have done either a marathon or a half marathon in the past, and this is another way of still being involved, and it's great fun. Yeah, yeah. Still hard work. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get to run in the rain. I missed out a bit because oh, I did half marathon. This says marathon. I did half. So, <laughs> starts in the sun, finish in the sun. A lovely route as always. Yeah. If you haven't already run the Clarendon, make it one to do next year, even if it's just the, the relay, the half, the marathon. Do you know, honestly, it's such a good course, and the scenery, and the organisation, and oh, just everything. Do you know, it's the third time I've run this, and I, I love it. It's one of my favourite trail marathons. How did you get up the steps at Farley Mount? They got out, in, uh, they got out for that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it had a big trouble getting them back in. <laughs> um, yeah, they got out for that bit. They were set to join the other runners. <laughs> and there was another bit where they got out as well, just at the end. Yeah, yeah. Um, Energised. Energised. But it's been a great run. It's like a, it's like a pilgrimage, you know? It's like a, yeah. It's been amazing. Thank you. The hills were horrendous, the mud, the stinging nettles, but I'm glad I made it. <laughs> yeah, I'm super excited, I'm so proud of myself. I'm glad I made it. Well done, Thank you. so proud. Here I am with uh, Thomas Bambali from uh, Kaseze, Uganda. Uh, I first met Thomas three years ago and uh, managed to persuade Winchester Rotary and Southampton Magnum Rotary and the district to sponsor him to do an internship at Chelsea Self Reliance. Uh, I took him on uh, the first park run about eight weeks ago and he enjoyed it so much that he suddenly said I would like to do the marathon. I said I think you need a bit longer than eight weeks to train for a marathon. Uh, perhaps you should consider doing the half marathon. He thought about it and then said to me, definitely not, I'm doing the full marathon. It was great. Um, I was talking to a lot of people. Um, I helped a relay girl up near the end just to sort of keep her going and, you know, try and run at the right pace. I did a really good time, was really happy with that. We were expecting a lot of rain. 
the sunshine came out, uh, the beautiful, beautiful course. Last 10k was tough, very, very hilly at the end, so whatever say just put that bit of the route in, thank you very much. But yeah, beautiful, lots of great volunteers, thanks for everyone, and really great people out there, so yeah, love you. It was wonderful, it was so beautiful um, and, and it was just having it, all the support around, it was just really really lovely and nice to have family at the end. <laughs> this is my first marathon so yeah, lovely first one to do. I think it's absolutely amazing. Um, I used to love running before but um, unfortunately I'm not of the age where I think I can run anymore but I take my hats off to them because I think they're absolutely incredible and they're obviously raising lots of money for their own charities as well, and as well as Rotary. And without the volunteers, the event wouldn't take place in the first place, so many thanks to the volunteers. Very important, it's one of our biggest fundraising events every year, we're, we're managing and organising it, and it brings in tremendous amount of money to help the different projects that we deliver. So we are fundraising for Trinity Women's Services and uh, particularly their Freedom Programme and also the charity One Small Thing which is around the criminal justice system whereby women and children are unable to stay together and supported in understanding prevention of domestic abuse. I must say it's much better than I thought it would be because my assumption was that there was going to be a lot of rain. That's why I suggested everybody to take their raincoats and I took my raincoats. But just as we started, the, the, the rain stopped and it's been a blue sky and sun and lovely and warm. Fantastic really. A special thanks to all the volunteers. Um, everybody really, really appreciates it. Um, and the key thing is, as well as obviously about volunteering, it's important that everyone just enjoys it. And, um, what I'd like to say is, you know, everywhere I see is people enjoying it, that's the real key thing, that's what it's all about. And also the runners, obviously the runners enjoy it a lot. And, um, and a lot of the volunteers did point out that they really appreciated the runners saying thank you Marshall as they went by. Yeah, just, just everything was great. Thank you very much. Countryside, friendly marshals, it's a low-key, fantastic, proper running event. We love it. <laughs>